some things that I wish I would have known before I attended UH because what I needed was a video like this like explaining everything out to me exactly how it is although my experience is going to be a little bit different than some because I started like in the midst of COVID. I didn't start like the first season, but like I'm going into my second semester as a freshman. So I've been going at this for like 11, 12 weeks now. So I feel like I starting to have a sense of like what UH is about. The first thing I want to talk about is the dorm. <laughs> If you're a freshman and you want to live in the dorms, I don't know the names of any of the towers because I live off campus and I don't pay attention to it. But everybody that lives in the towers does not like it. Apparently the restrooms are trifling, disgusting, nasty. There's no air conditioning. Um, I've heard a lot of trouble with people's roommates, which is just kind of how it is. I met my roommates online. It's really good to just have a standard of what you expect. The key things to hit being like cleanliness, uh, if they're gonna wanna have people over all the time, um, are they morning people, night people, stuff like that. Just make sure you all share some common beliefs, minimize the amount of potential arguments that could arise. And in my case, I'm rooming with three other girls, so obviously there's gonna be some problems, but as long as you all come out, are able to recognize each other's opinions and beliefs and come out on the other end, then you might have fun, Dan. So if you're moving to campus, another thing that I think is great to utilize is um, the UH, like Manoa page for incoming freshmen. If you are becoming a freshman at UH or you're a transfer student, I saw a lot of people transferring on there or you're taking a gap year, great way to meet people. That's how I got put into group chats. That's how I met my first roommate and we kind of figured it out from there. Um, also good options are living like near campus like and sharing a house with people. I've heard a lot of people do that and they prefer that but I'm hearing that from upperclassmen. Like the social aspect you probably want to live on campus or like an apartment complex nearing campus is what I'd recommend. Another thing is transportation. If you want to ship your car to Hawaii from like, I think California, I think it's a th right around a thousand dollars and another option is a moped but these can be extremely dangerous. It's up to you if you want to get a moped. They're really dangerous. Just be careful. You can get them from starting $600 all the way up. I've seen them go for like $1,300, I think. It depends on how nice it is, like what you're expecting. And also, if you go to UH, you automatically get um, bus passes. So you can utilize free transportation basically morning to late night. It's really easy to use the bus, just pull it up. It kind of is confusing at first, but don't be afraid to ask people. They'll definitely help you out. Another thing is school spirit. So right now I started when games weren't going on, like games were going on, but students couldn't attend. Like if you're if you're big into school spirit and you want to base your what university you go to off of school spirit, UH is not it. Like we will hype up our players and stuff, but like we're just now starting to get back into the role of actually. Attending. I haven't even been to a game yet, so I'm not one to speak on this. But you have to download an app or something, which I just haven't done yet. Another thing is like the big sports, what I think here are volleyball and oh, there's also a sail team. If you're into sailing, I think that's so cool. You don't have to have any experience. If I have more time on my hands, I would do that. But if you want to learn to sail, you can get on the sail team. Uh, we also have like, I think we, have, yeah, we have a surf team, volleyball team. I think that stuff's unique. There's always beach volleyball going on in Waikiki. And I do want to talk about Waikiki. So Waikiki is like, a crazy beach like it's where all the homeless people hang out like it's good it's it's an easy access beach i don't even have words to describe it but yeah if you have a form of transportation i highly recommend going to other beaches because waikiki is not the best but if you need something easy go there there's um a surf a surf rental place where you can rent for two hours for ten dollars or fifteen dollars for four hours so it's super cheap to surf especially if you're learning they have a ton of long boards long boards are easier to learn than short boards so you have to go do that with your friends and they also have a pass for students it's like 75 a month i think for unlimited surfing and you can pay this guy there to like take cool videos of you if that's something that you're into um 
Another thing is classes. So right now, UH and going into next semester is expected to be 75% in-person classes. Right now, I only have two in-person classes and I was thinking that I would prefer in-person classes, but I actually prefer doing my classes online because I like to go and adventure a lot. So just by being able to like knock out all my classes as early as I want to, like if I get up at five and I grind to like two, I'll have the rest of my day free. So it's nice. So what is the party scene like at UH? I feel like this kind of goes hand in hand with school spirit. Um, the school games and the school spirit, it looks hype. I haven't gone. There's only been one game that we've been, been, been one football game that like students have been able to attend. And I know my, some of my friends have gone to basketball games and they like them and they're going back. And like, if I could see myself in the future when I was in high school saying that I didn't attend games, I'd be like, what? Because I loved going to games in high school. It was really, really fun, but I just don't have experience to speak on that at UH um right now the there are parties at UH if you want a party you will find a party if you go to like if you live in apartment complexes off campus with a bunch of like student affiliated rooms you're gonna find parties there are always people that are gonna be wanting to party but it's not like other schools where it's like huge partying one thing that is really fun though about Hawaii are the day parties so like they'll just have a bunch of people on the beach during the day and um it's really fun i prefer them they call them darbies but especially with like covid stuff you just want to be careful like citations and stuff and it makes some people mad let's just put it like that and also fraternities host events and they're fun we have like two main fraternities here and i don't know anything about sororities because that is just not my scene parking if you have a car parking here is horrible all my friends that have shipped their cars out from the mainland and get parking tickets get their car towed like it is a regular thing so i don't have like my own form of transportation here but that is something to definitely consider there's also plenty of jobs and opportunities on campus and near campus we have like a starbucks in the campus center a subway um some like other food places there's a canes near campus uh, if you ever need cheap food there's like a 7-eleven really close to campus but there's 7-elevens everywhere um yeah jobs if you need a job you do not have to worry you will be able to find a job there's a ton of job opportunities on the strip of waikiki you will be good